Hello and welcome. The state of emergency is over here in Japan since Monday, the 24th of May. And it's a way to celebrate. We should celebrate. Another uh, reason to celebrate is I received my permanent resident status here in Japan. Um, after 14 years, <laughs> we lived on and off in Japan. We lived in New Zealand, we lived in Dubai, and uh, before that in Singapore. So, yeah, it took somewhat uh, longer than usually. But now I got it and I'm very happy about it. So that's another reason to pop the champagne bottle. So, and another thing to celebrate is I met Kim, the abandoned traveler, over a chat room on Facebook. And she is an expert in luxury traveling. So we started to make a collaboration. I get introduced in her videos and she get introduced in my videos. And here is her clip. I'm Kim the Abundant Traveler and I am here to inspire you to buy that plane ticket, get out there and go. My brand is all about laid back luxury, usually with a little side of shenanigans. And my goal is to encourage women to buy that plane ticket and go see the world. Whether you're a little afraid of not enough money, not enough time, or just need a little bit of courage, I'm here to help you with tips, tricks, and hacks. When I was in my 20s, I traveled to Europe for the first time and actually moved overseas with $300 in my pocket. I was only gonna be gone for six months. Turned out I was gone for five and a half years. I'm now 50 and I've seen more than 60 countries. And last year alone, I traveled to 14 countries and 43,000 long haul miles. If you're looking for permission to get out there and go, I am here to tell you, do it. So I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I'll see you on the next adventure. She's very vibrant, lovely to watch. And her video, Dream Destination, Where to Go, after COVID-19 is coming out on the 31st of May. So it's another four days to go. Go to her channel, check it out and get inspired. It's not only her, it's a collaboration of uh, a few YouTube women. Yeah, everybody has a different mindset where they want to go. And I believe you will get a lot of inspiration here. Check it out. I have to apologize for my sound. There is so much going on behind in my little forest, behind my house, unbelievable. I didn't realize that it's that loud. Uh, I'm working since two months with my husband, basically shoulder to shoulder, and I just block out all the sound and it was very noisy, but I hope you can still understand me and uh, next time I will use a mic again on me. No? So, yeah, sorry for that. Well, the next burning question is, when can we travel again? Here nationally in Japan, we are allowed from 19th of June to travel again. I read yesterday an article in the English Mainichi newspaper. The Japanese government is rolling out a go-to travel initiative for all travel within Japan. So we will get discounts and vouchers for half of the booking value. So if you book for 20,000 yen, you get 10,000 yen, as I understand from this article, as in discounts and vouchers to spend for shops and restaurants around the area where you travel to. And this will apply from end, the early day expected from end of July this year. This will apply for all bookings made through Japanese travel agencies and to ryokans or Japanese inns, traditional Japanese inns. 
So Tokyo Olympic is postponed, and Japan imposed an entry ban to more than 100 countries and regions. The question is, when will Japan reopen its borders to foreign travelers? Well, I don't have a crystal ball. I only can guess. If you take a look at the National Japan Travel website, or tourism website, about COVID-19, you can see all the countries which are banned, basically. It looks like the whole world. Also, the world has 195 countries, and there are maybe 111 listed. There is one sentence on, if you follow the links which is interesting and might give you a clue when you can travel again to Japan. I will read it to you. As visas, exemption measure with the countries and regions listed below are temporarily suspended. Those who fall under the measures are required to obtain visas before visiting Japan. The measure will be in place until the last day of June. The period may be renewed. Maybe you are able to come to Japan from the 1st of July. However, this is about COVID-19. I think the gauge is, if you live in a country where COVID-19 is slowly disappearing, you might be able to come. But personally, I don't know. I really don't know. I think we have to observe it until end of June and might then get a new idea when COVID-19 is disappearing or re-emerging in winter. So, yeah. How we plan. We made a decision that we will travel here within Japan. We will not go abroad. Also, we had original plans to go to Switzerland and Germany during Christmas time to visit our sons there. However, we decided that they come to Japan because the COVID cases are more in Europe than here and um, we thought for the long term might be uh, the more safer way that they come here. They didn't want to us to come to Germany so we will travel July, August, September, October, November, December here within Japan. I haven't thought about all destinations yet and have, we have no fixed date. But in Japan, for example, uh, in August, Obon is coming up. So we, we will definitely go somewhere during that time if we are allowed or if there's a second wave, maybe then we can't go. For the flights for our sons, we assume the borders are open by December. If not, we can rebook. This shouldn't be a problem because you could do this uh, in the past two, three months. Um, they were supposed to come in April or March, March, April. Yeah, we had to cancel the flights and it was not a problem. I wouldn't think too much about it. If Japan is unexpectedly opening the borders, within two weeks you can book good tickets. They, I believe they will be very cheap. I told you about that they will uh, pay half of your travel cost in coupons or discounts, meaning the flight to Japan you still have to pay for. But when once you're here, you pay for your hotel 20,000 yen and 10,000 yen. They give you in discounts so you can go and have a nice dinner or go to the zoo or whatsoever. So that's, that's a good option. So I'm sorry, I cannot give you better news, but the moment we find out something will happen, I will let you know. Or oh, another thing, the hiking season for Mount Fuji is also canceled. So this year there will be no hiking on Mount Fuji. So if you plan for this, already you know, ah, I don't need to go this year, I come next year, August. At the end of the day, most probably it all depends on a vaccine or, or the virus dies off like SARS in 2003. We do not know. And at this point, I, I'm almost tired of talking about COVID-19. Um, yeah, 
That's it. <laughs> no? like this video and I see you next Monday finally with my new video about how to make crack in Japan. Um, I was traveling uh, for business and we came back on the same day so this is not really traveling. We went there, took some photos and came back and the crack I started was not what I wanted, so I started a new batch and try again with uh, a different method. I have done it in Singapore a few times, but... See you then, and I got cut off here with my quark. <laughs> so, never mind, I see you Monday. Bye-bye.